Greetings, everybody. Turn your King James Bible to Ezekiel chapter 19. This is a continuation of the Ezekiel series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Live the World Ministries, John 8, 12. You know the rest. Verse 1, Ezekiel 19. Moreover, take thou up a lamentation for the princes of Israel, and say, What is thy mother? A lioness? She lay down among lions. She nourished her whelps among young lions. And she brought forth one of her whelps. It became a young lion, and it learned to catch the prey. It devoured men. Now, I believe that is a spiritual application devouring men devouring their souls not just their bodies and what is the symbol of Christ when he returns in glory well when he came to the earth the first time he was called the Lamb of God but when he returns in glory, he's called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So, and say, what is thy mother, a lioness? She lay down among lions. She nourished her whelps among young lions. And she brought up one of her whelps. It became a young lion. And it learned to catch the prey, it devoured them. The nations also heard of him. He was taken in their pit, and they brought him with chains unto the land of Egypt. Now there's two ways to look at that. Remember that Israel was in captivity under Pharaoh? But also... Judah had also gone to Egypt to try to form an alliance against the Babylonians. And the Lord didn't like Egypt very much. Egypt was bad news. Instead of them worshiping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they're going after the, the sun god, Set, among other names, so... So, he was taken in their pit, and they brought him with chains unto the land of Egypt. Now when she saw that she had waited, and her hope was lost, yeah, she waited for her lion to return, but nope, ain't gonna happen. Then she took another one of her whelps and made him a young lion. Now, the first line could have been indicative of perhaps Israel, northern Israel that God divorced. Whereas the second line could be indicative of Judah. Remember, Israel was taken into captivity by the Assyrians over a hundred years before. Judah was taken captive by the Babylonians. The Assyrians tried to take Jerusalem, but they couldn't do it. God killed 185,000 of their soldiers. So that didn't work out too good. Verse 6. I'm sorry, verse 5. Now when she saw that she had waited and her hope was lost, then she took another of her whelps and made him a young lion. And he went up and down among the lions. He became a young lion. And he learned to catch the prey and devoured men. And he knew their desolate palaces. And he laid waste their cities. And the land was desolate and the fullness thereof by the noise of his roaring. Now this could be what they did to the kingdoms of the Canaanites. Verse 8, 
Then the nations set against him on every side from the provinces and spread their net over him. He was taken in their pit. Verse 9. And they put him in ward in chains and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into holds that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. Thy mother is like a vine in thy blood, planted by the waters. She was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters. And she had strong rods for the scepters of them that bear rule. Now, what's a scepter? It was a, a staff that a king would carry. And her stature was exalted among the thick branches, and she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches. But she was plucked up in fury. She was cast down to the ground, and the east wind dried up her fruit. Her strong rods were broken and withered. The fire consumed them. And now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty ground. And fire has gone out of a rod of her branches, which hath devoured her fruit, her children, right? So that she hath no strong rod to be a scepter to rule. This is a lamentation and shall be for a lamentation. All right, well, that's the end of Ezekiel 19. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.